Welcome back to the Computer Basics series uh, by Mike Wood. Uh, today we are going to talk about the second video in the series which will delve into bookmarks bar. And uh, the bookmarks bar is very handy and can be used uh, to save pages that we commonly go to. Uh, this bar will show up just underneath the address bar here. And I'm going to show it in uh, Google Chrome because I would rather you use Google Chrome but if you're using another browser it will be similar it'll be somewhere up here in this top section of your browser and usually under the address bar so this big white text box up here is the address bar right underneath it these are our bookmarks so that's the bookmarks bar uh, so if we are at paypal.com for example you'll see the address to the paypal site right here up in the address bar so that's why it's called the address bar because it gives the address to the site that you're on or this gives you a location to type in the address of the site where you want to go um, this address cannot have any spaces it must be all characters uh, every character is important if we look at the first part of this address for example the HTTPS colon slash slash www.paypal.com well if we were to have a, if we get rid of one of those slashes for example and we only have one slash in there then it well normally it's going to break it and it will cause a problem PayPal uh, has uh, uh, <laughs> uh, or maybe that's a feature in uh, Chrome where it just adds it back in but uh, uh, it is important to have them all there now some of these don't have to be there for example if we want to go to paypal.com we don't need any of that that first part is automatic uh, and we don't need any of this after it we could just type in the word paypal and then dot com but we can't have a space there if we put a space either after or before that dot then we're going to end up with a search whatever is your default search engine it's going to run a search and it's going to say well is this what you meant and it's going to show you all these search results so if you're getting search results like this page then you're doing something wrong in the address bar so if we want to go to PayPal we type P-A-Y and then notice it fills it in because we've been there before so it's it's anticipating what we want to do computers have gotten that smart now so they can anticipate what we want so I don't even have to finish typing this out I can just press enter and it'll take me to the site and then notice it automatically puts all of that other syntax in there. That syntax is the computer language. It puts all that in there. All right, so what if I want to save that to my bookmarks bar? That's what this video is all about. And if you don't see this list of bookmarks down here under your address bar, then what you want to do, we'll shrink this for a moment, is just look in this top right corner of Chrome, and you'll see this Customize and Control Google Chrome three dots right there and uh, every, now, every now and then they'll change that from dots to lines or something like that but uh, you'll have the you know three something usually up there that indicates the ability to customize and control now notice also as I hover over this that it tells me what that is for and so if you're wondering if you have something to customize just start hovering over the little icons that you have in your toolbar and as you hold it there it'll pop up and tell you what that icon is for and so just pay attention until you get to one that says customize and control Google Chrome we click on that and it gives us this um, window of options here now when I say click it's always a left mouse button click unless I say right click then you use the right mouse button so otherwise click is always left um, unless you say mouse or say right so as we look down here, um, notice that we have all these options, and one of them is bookmarks. So if we go to bookmarks, it'll list all of our bookmarks off here to the side, and we can go click on one, or we can come up here, and we can click on this right here. Mine's already checked. You can see the check mark saying it's active, but we can click if it's not active. We come into that bookmarks. So again, right here to the customize bookmarks over here to show bookmarks bar and when we do that then it will show that bookmarks bar for us across the top and that way we can quickly get to different pages that we might want uh, 
just by clicking a link that we've saved here. So I've saved a lot of these without words. I just recognize the icons for them. So the icons tell me what the uh, what it is all about and what it's for. So that makes it easy for me to to find uh, the pages. I know that this is the YouTube icon. I know that this is the Facebook icon. I know that this is the eBay icon, and this is my uh, Google Chrome or I'm sorry, Google uh, email. My uh, Gmail icon. So all of those icons are familiar to me because I've used them. If they're not familiar to you yet and you want words in there, then you can save the words. So I'll show you how to save that. And uh, um, let's go, let's see, we'll go to a new tab. No, nope, let's go to the PayPal. Let's say we want to save PayPal. So there are a couple of options here. Number one, you'll have either a plus sign or as in Chrome here, Notice you hover over that star to the far right of the um, of the address bar and hold our cursor there and it says bookmark this page. So if I click that, it's going to pull up this bookmark and say, well, here it's bookmarked. Where do you want it? Now I've got multiple folders created in my bookmarks bar. And so I can choose where I want to put that. Um, and it can go in one of these uh, specific folders or I can go down here to choose another folder and that'll open up even more and I could just say well I'll just put it in my main bookmarks bar if you don't have folders created then it's just going to give you the option of putting it in your bookmarks bar okay so if I save that it's going to put it right up in here now I've got so many bookmarks already that's why I use folders because I have so many pages bookmarked um, that it's it's gotten a little bit cluttered so this one I don't need anymore so if I don't need a bookmark on the bar anymore I can just right click on it and get this right click menu and then go down and left click on delete and that gets rid of it okay so I don't need that there um, I don't need my Pandora link there so I can delete that one um, I don't need this one anymore so I can delete that one so some of these are things that I've used in the past that I'm not using now um, and I've got multiple Amazon uh, page links. I've got an Amazon here and I've got an Amazon here. I certainly don't need both of those so we'll get rid of some of those. So as I do that you can see that the other bookmark pages are filling in the space here. Okay uh, and I've got uh, multiples on that so I don't need that so we can get rid of that. I don't need this. Um, that one is saved elsewhere, so I don't need that there. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need that. And so I can just delete as many of these as I want out of my bookmarks bar. Now also, if you come down here to, uh, or over to the right hand side, you'll see a little double arrows, and this will open up and show you more bookmarks that you might have saved. And so there you can go into all the other bookmarks that uh, might be there, okay?